Hello, good day everyone. This is Thevs. Welcome back to this channel. The next repair is a 32-inch LG LED TV, model 32LB55B. It's turning on, but no image appears on the screen. I will show you how to fix it. If you are interested in electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV has a backlight, but no display appears on the screen. So let's remove this metal frame so we can access the top board or the timing control. Thank you to those who appreciate the new voiceover. The new voiceover speeds up my editing process. This enables me to produce more content. Let's give the new voiceover a chance to become a part of this channel. This panel is a non-GIP. This means non-GIP panels have an external ear or driver component that connects to the panel. So, no CKV signal lines, but it has VGL and VGH voltage on the side COF or on the external ear. Let's measure the VGH and VGL. VGH voltage is 26.1 volts. And VGL is negative 8 volts. So we don't have any issue with the VGH and VGL voltages. So let's remove the vessel and see the side COF or the external ear voltages. This is the external ear, known as the side COF. Use tape to flip the COF back so that we can access the test points. These test points are the voltage and signals of the COF. Usually VGH or the VGL voltage are missing in this kind of problem. Let's scrape the coating so we can measure the test point voltages.
I don't remember the data of this COF, so when I encounter this kind of issue, I will troubleshoot again. Let's measure the test point voltages. The tip of my test probe is not sharp, so I use the blade cutter to tap the test point so we can accurately measure the voltages. Only a negative 8 volts is present, which is the VGL, no 25 volts VGH. So the problem is no VGH voltage. This test point is a negative 8 volts. This test point is 7.4 volts. And this test point is 0 volts. I think this is the VGH. So let's solder a tin size of magnet wire to this test point and connect it to the VGH. The magnet wire size is about the size of a human hair. Scrap the coating so we can solder it. Now the magnet wire is soldered to the COF. Remove the tape carefully. Lay the magnet wire where is safe. We're not touching any metal or the vessel. Place the vessel back in place carefully. Let's scrape the coating of these traces. One of them is the VGH line. I worked on this kind of issue before. As I said earlier, I don't remember which is the VGH. I don't make a note. So 
I retrace the VGH line again. This trace is 24.6 volts. It is the VGH. So we will solder the magnet wire on that trace. The magnet wire has been properly soldered. Now let's cry it. We have a display now. But it seems there is a black vertical line on the screen. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. My customer stated that there is a vertical and horizontal black line that appears long before the TV loses the image. The black vertical line is not the reason why the VGH on the COF was disconnected. The COF or the ear VGH voltage has been restored and the TV works again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Once again, this is Tebs. See you again next time. Bye for now.